heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So I'm actually watching this fight for a second time here, but Dillian White gets the six-round knockout over Ivica Bakirin. Uh, it was a scheduled six-rounder. Dillian White came into this career high, 253, one pound over uh, his former career high, which was uh, 252, his very first pro fight. Um, He looked very sluggish in this fight, man. He looked very sluggish. Uh, looked like he was trying to just fire right hands and trying to take care of Bakurin early. And Bakurin wasn't going for it, man. He was moving around the ring. He was landing some good shots here and there, but he was doing a lot of holding and clinching. He wasn't getting off any type of work on the inside. Um, and Bakurin, this is what he does, man. I've seen him take uh, Michelle Wallace the distance and a few other uh, guys the distance, whether it's an 8-rounder, 12-rounder, or 10-rounder. Um even before he got knocked out by Tony Bellu, he took him, I believe they went 10 rounds, I believe. So he knows how to survive, man. He comes in shape. He knows how to survive. White had about a, I don't know, like a 40-pound weight advantage in this fight. Um, I would like to see him use his jab more. He was just, so he wanted to get close. He didn't want to set anything up. He missed some overhand rights. He missed a lot of overhand rights. The way he, were, the way he was throwing those right hands wasn't really using good technique. Just looked very crude and trying to throw thudding shots. I thought if he would have <clears throat> set up that right hand by using his jab and cutting the ring off on McCarran, he possibly could have landed a a precision punch and could have got McCarran out of there a lot earlier. You could just tell by the body language of McCarran, he really didn't want too much of this fight. The fourth round, uh, White had him against the ropes. He had like his forearm under McCarran's throat, kind of pushing him over the top of the rope a little bit. The ref was going to warn White. Then Bakurin went down. He went down on the knee. He just walked over to the corner and went down on the knee. And usually when I see body language like that, usually fighters, they don't want any of their body to touch the canvas if they're not, you know, badly hurt. And he just kind of went down on the knee and then got up. Then even in the fifth round, I think he slipped or something. It was just the body language of Bakurin, man. He was just too willing and able to just touch the canvas when, when he wasn't getting hit, you know, and, um, the sixth round, again, it was a lot of sluggish action, pretty much from round one through six, man. Just a lot of white chasing Bakirin around. Bakirin was, he was showing that some movement will give Dillian White some problems. Had he had a jab and had he had been stepping in with hard right hands and hard lead hooks, maybe he could have got Dillian White's attention, but White was just walking him down, just the harder puncher. He was putting work on Bakirin. The sixth round, he got him against the ropes, landed a combination. Looked like some of the punches even missed, and then a right hand got through. Put Bakarin down. It was a nice punch, but again, he just he just was on his knees, and he just waited to get counted out. Spit his mouthpiece out, kind of was shaking his head no in the middle of the count, like he didn't want that work. So White's supposed to be back in action the end of uh, next month. I was hearing David Allen, then I heard a possibility of... Uh, Chisura, and then I was hearing uh, maybe Sexton is supposed to take on David Allen first, so I'm not sure, but uh, I'm not sure what's going to go on next month, but I hope that Dillian White stays in the gym and he gets some of his weight off, man. He looked too sluggish at 253, in my opinion. Um, had he had somebody in there that was higher class, that would have worked him to the body, would have, you know, hit him with some hard lead, either lead or counter shots. Could have possibly seen a different fight, but Dillian White's technique was just way off tonight, man. It was way off. But his first fight back since the AJ loss, and then he had uh, shoulder surgery. So I guess for a little comeback fight for an up-and-coming contender like himself, not bad. But I like to see uh, him step it up and like to see his weight and conditioning uh, step up also. Um, in the fourth round... When the ref separated him, looked like White was huffing and puffing, man. So, just want to see that cardio get up to speed, and uh, want to see Dillian White back in action. Uh, a few of those, then uh, again, then even in the sixth round, Bakirin went down from another slip. It was just he was just slipping and willing to hit the canvas, just too quick in my opinion, man. He really didn't worth that work. I'm out.